Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a wonderful, marvelous, fantastic feeling that everything is going your way. I'm Dee Foster Three. Welcome to the Voice of Hope Connection. I know it's early on a Sunday morning, but share. Come on, get in your contacts and let somebody know there is a word for the week. I hope you had a great week at the beginning. I want to encourage you to like, to share, and to follow so that you know when we upload brand new content because in a world that we live in, who can't stand or use a voice of hope for encouragement? At the beginning, I want you to go to our social media platforms. That information is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Please like it, please share it, please follow us so you know what we're doing, how we are flowing. In other words, how we are moving. I wanna say shout out to April J, CEO and president of WPBmedianetworks.com who allows our our voice to stream over this platform and every Friday, 5 p.m., the Voice Over Nav podcast. Oh, <clears throat> if you like it straight, no chaser. We do it. The Voice Over Now podcast. As I always say, I hope you had a great week and I hope this week coming will be even greater. At least the pollen will be gone. Hope. Oh, yes. Pollen. But anyway, Anyway, in spite of the pollen, whatever this week holds, I can't predict it. Hopefully it'll be the best week. You'll make progress. You'll stay well and healthy and pursue the things of God. But again, because life is life, we never know. But one thing we do know is that there is a word, <clears throat> excuse me, for each week. Now, I, I have to admit, I'm kind of picky where I stay, when I travel, and where I live. Yes, and I, I've been called that. When I was at the height of my travel in churches or ministry or guests would book me in a room, it would be nothing for them to contact me and I had moved my room. Because there's one thing that I require, whether I live there or visit there, unless it's a home and I can't help it. And that's something called a view. Now, recently in, in my travels <clears throat> down south, I was staying in a hotel and I love a luxurious hotel. I, I must confess, I love four star, five star, no less than four if possible, right? But no matter how luxurious the room concierges, the housekeeping, the uh, hospitality, it is zero to me if my wonderful, luxurious, sweet room doesn't have a plausible view. Now, what, what do I mean when I say a plausible view? It's when I'm sitting in at the desk or resting in the bed, and I can look out of the window and see the wonderful landscape. That's my kind of room. Well, recently I was traveling and uh, I was booked on the second floor. And in the background, there was a nice, beautiful landscape of downtown. But because of where the room was, there were large trees that hid my view. Now, I know some of you are going to judge me on this, but I'm making a point this morning. I'm making a point. Share this, like this, follow it. Some of you like me too. You know you are. And so when I sat in the bed and I sat at the desk, I didn't notice when I first checked in and I unpacked all of my bags and I'm ready to relax and watch a little TV and work on my next podcast. And I go to look out my window to see the horizon of downtown landscape and it was blocked. Follow me. Bye. The tree. Needless to say, what I did, immediately I packed my computer, packed my clothes, went downstairs to the front desk and politely asked, is there a room that I can check in that uh, has a better view? They say, yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, we do, but it's not a suite. It's a regular room. I said, I'll take a regular room over a suite that has a view. And so I checked in my new room, wasn't the suite, and I sat in my bed and I pulled out my laptop to work and watch TV, and there it was in the horizon. Now, let me make a point. 
the downtown landscape had always been there. Even when I was in the second floor suite, the downtown landscape was there. What was the problem? The trees. I couldn't see any further than the trees. I want to say this week, when no matter what you go through, and whether some dark periods, whether you feel discouraged, discouragement may try to come upon you. Hopelessness may try to come upon you. But I'm encouraging you on this Sunday morning, there is a bright side. Just look beyond the trees. See, sometimes our view is scared because we look no further in us. We look no further, but sometimes to see the bright side, to see the future, to see there's hope, to see there's vitality, to see there is possibility, you've got to look beyond the trees. Now I know what the psalmist, he said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. If you start this week to feel despondent, and if you start this week to feel discouraged, if you start this week to feel there's no hope, I'm encouraging you right now. You heard it here on the Voice of Hope Connection. There is a beautiful landscape. There is a beautiful future according to Jeremiah chapter number 11 for you, but you gotta lift up your head and look beyond the trees. That's what I had to do. And once I looked beyond the trees, I moved my room, it changed, watch this, my view. The tree didn't move. The second floor suite didn't move. My view changed. And so sometimes it's not the trees, it's not the clouds, it's not the darkness, it's not the trials. Sometimes it's where we view it from. There's an old, old song. Some of you may know it. They modernize all the songs. There's a bright side somewhere. I knew there was a bright side. The sun was up, but it just kept being dark in my room. And I don't know what it is. I need the motivation, if at all possible. I love a view. I pay for a view where I live. I don't pay for the space. I pay for the view. When I check in a hotel, I pay for the view. The trees may not move. The clouds may not just roll away. Things may not automatically hocus pocus get better. But you got the ability in you to change your view like I change my room. Stop viewing what's not right out there and start viewing the possibilities that lie within. Join us 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time right after this for our Voice of Healing community prayer call where we lift one another up in prayer and send positive synergy of energy in one another's direction. What the world needs now is healing Oh, healing. The number is at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget it. We want to hear from you. The voice over the globe, one word at gmail.com. The voice over the globe at gmail.com. Until next week, this is D Foster 3 saying there is hope. Let's stay connected to it.